Imagine being woken up in the middle of your sleep to be robbed in your own household. Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune 215. And right now, we're in the state of Pennsylvania. We're currently in the city of Philadelphia. Today, we're gonna to be doing a drive-through of North Central Philadelphia. We're gonna be taking a spin through the Temple University campus and surrounding blocks. We're currently at 9th and Susquehanna Avenue, traveling westbound on Susquehanna Avenue. This is the 900 block of Susquehanna Avenue. We have clear skies. Now make note, North Central Philadelphia is composed of several neighborhoods. Neighborhoods like Yorktown, but not limited to. These will be more hard tramp and so on. Let's make this left-hand turn on 10th Street. Now, we're only gonna focus possibly on North Central Philadelphia's Yorktown and Cecil B. Moore neighborhood. We're passing French Street. Majority of Temple University is in the Cecil B. Moore neighborhood. However, Temple University owns real estate southbound and northbound up and down Broad Street. They have campus locations as far as the nice town Tioga hood and as low as here in Cecil B. Moore and who knows southbound past City Hall but I'm very familiar with the North Philadelphia section of Temple University on my right hand side we got the apex on diamond apartments it boasted a higher way of living on our right there used to be a project a community that was uh, low income, low rise apartment complex. And they knocked it down. I actually did a video. We're next to the Temple University train station on our left hand side. We have the SEPTA train station. I actually did a video before they knocked down that abandoned project. It is on my channel. I believe I did two videos here. I walked through it and all. We're passing the 2000 block of Alder. A lot of these buildings on my left are new. They just made it on top of where that project was. On my right, these are also new. We're passing Warnock. On our left, those are Temple University buildings. We're at 11th and Norris Street, traveling westbound on Norris Street. We got Temple University cameras on our left-hand side, and then you'll see the T. You see that storage container on our left inside the, the lot? It says T, that's for Temple. Temple Formula Racing. I'm assuming that's for their engineer program, something of that nature. And that blue pole has a blue light on it. It says Temple Police. Temple Police, uh, drive the neighborhood avidly. We got North Central Community Center on our right hand side. I'm gonna make a left hand turn coming up. There are more temple buildings on our right. We may not be able to hit them all in one session, but if you haven't seen Temple University before, I've covered this neighborhood plenty of times. I've even did walking tours in the neighborhood. So Temple University is located right in the hood. It has uh, several hoods surrounding the campus. We're at 12th and North Street. I'm gonna make this left hand turn on 12th Street. That was one of the Temple University campus buildings on our right. We have another building on our left. You see College of Engineering on our left-hand side. So right now, considering the time frame, it is the weekday, but it's damn near a little bit after the lunch hour. So with that in mind, many students are probably in class. We have the Science Education and Research Center on our left-hand side. We're gonna stop here at the stop sign on Paulette Walk. So there's a directory, there's a map on the corner. So if you're a student here, you can figure out your way around campus. We're passing College of Liberal Arts on our left-hand side, Gladfelter and Missouri Hall. We have several eateries on our left, Orient Express, Vietnamese food, Hank's Famous Pizza, Eddie's Pizza, and so on. We have the Bell Building on our left-hand side. We're now approaching a spot that I stop at often, Montgomery Avenue here on the campus. I stop by at Chipotle. I haven't been there in over a month, but I usually stop there. That's called The View at Montgomery. Now, you see that tall building on our left? That tall building, let's make this left here so I can show you guys that. And then we'll, we'll eventually go right and wrap our way back around. But I wanna show you this building on our right. You see this building? That's dorms for the students. Look, there's students on our right. Students walking. And it's colder weather, so I don't expect there to be a lot of people out between classes and the weather. There's not a lot of people out. We passed the Temple Police Station on our left. Now this building on our right, I actually just seen an advertisement advertising, I believe two bedrooms 
one bath or was it two bath? I'm uncertain, but I know it was two bedroom apartment for seven seventy five a month for students. We're on 11th and Montgomery. We have a parking garage on our left. So right now, when you pass Cecil B. Moore, you're actually entering the Yorktown neighborhood. Not many people call it Yorktown. Not many people know the name is Yorktown. Check out the architecture on that overing on our left-hand side. You see that doorway, that tall doorway? You see all the designs? That's pretty cool. They don't make them like they used to. University Village on our left-hand side. Again, more dorms, more apartments. On our right, we have a huge field. The field is where the students practice and I believe high school and peewee squads come here too. They utilize the same field. Okay, we are passing. Let's make this right, let's not pass it. Let's make this right on Cecil B. Moore Avenue. So once you cross Cecil B. Moore Avenue, you'll enter what's loosely known as Yorktown. There's the field on our right hand side. So North Central Philadelphia is an area in the North Philadelphia section of Philly. The name derived from its area and its location near uh, the center of the city. So on our left hand side, several, maybe a dozen or so blocks to our left will be Center City, Philadelphia. We're very close to Center City, Philadelphia. As of the 2010 United States Census, North Central is primarily a low income neighborhood where 60% of its residents are African American and 40% of the residents are Puerto Rican. Hartranf and Stanton are neighborhoods locally known as North Central. Now once we cross Broad Street, then you'll enter the Cecil B. Moore neighborhood, which is where the actual robbery and the sleep happened. There were uh, close to a dozen students, I believe eight to a dozen students. That CVS on my right is brand new. They just built that within the last three years, I would say, give or take. On our left, we have Temple Towers, more dorm, more housing for the students. We have two students on our right walking. I identify them as students because they have their long sweaters, the sweatpants, the laid back casual clothing. That's what majority of the students look like around here. When you're on campus, you don't worry about getting dressed. You just you know go to where you got to go to and then you hit your next class. We're at 12th and Cecil B. Moore. We'll talk about the robbery in a little bit. Let me get to the block that it happened on. It happened on the 1300 block of 15th Street. Let's make this right hand turn so you guys can see a little bit more of the campus before we cross broad. We're on 13th and Cecil B. Moore Avenue. Oh, uh, we can't make it right. They closed it. Shucks. You see that? They closed it. We're next to Weiss Hall. Psychology and speech. What's interesting is I never knew that was the psychology and speech building. When I got selected to join the YSP, Young Scholars Program, when I was 13 years old, Young Scholars Program is a Temple University. At the time, it was a Temple University, like a higher learning program. They paid us, the students, to learn and do robotics and mathematics and all types of stuff. We were, it was, it was like a handful of students selected from every school, and I was one of them. And um, I had to go through an interview process in that building, the psychology and speech building. And I had a really bad speech impediment growing up. I stutter. I still stutter to this day, but it was a lot worse when I was younger, more noticeable. Don't get it twisted. I still stutter. When I press pause, I go stuttering like crazy. But for somehow, some unimaginable reason, I'm able to control it when I'm on the clock. But um, we're at Park Ave. We have Morgan Hall on our left. This is a new dorm on our left, too. So what's weird is I never knew it was a psychology and speech bu building, but that's where I had my interview. They interviewed me. And I was approved to be in the Young Scholars Program. Though, sadly enough, I never utilized their scholarship. Weird, right? Because I never went to Temple. It didn't really attract me. On our left, we have shops at Avenue North. That's a huge plaza that they made just for the campus. I mean, the regular community residents can use it. Anybody can just drive up and use one of those businesses. For example, Bank of America, Wings Hut, Quidoba. That's another spot that I like to eat at, Qdoba. They have some pretty cool salad bowls. I really love it. Um, Qdoba, Mexican eatery. Check that out sometime if there's, if there's one in your uh, city. On our right, we have a bookstore across the street, Temple University Books. I used to get books there, college books. It really sucked. The prices were incredible. 
80, 120, 300, 400 out of the books. Yes, books, expensive as heck. And then the sellback was like mediocre. <laughs> We're next to the Broad Street line. Broad Street runs under Broad Street. Makes sense, right? Make note, remember, Broad Street is in place of what would have been 14th Street. We don't have a 14th Street, but we have a Broad Street. So I'm gonna make a right-hand turn. We'll probably spin like a block or two to my right. And just because we're on a short time frame, we're capturing footage in 4K, so make sure to adjust your screen resolution using the little gear wheel on the YouTube browser to watch it in its highest resolution. But we're gonna take a look at a few more campus buildings on our right. For example, Rock Hall. We have the Leah Chorus Center on our left. That's where I graduated from. That's where they held our graduation. That's usually where a lot of ceremonies are held at. And there used to be sports events there, like college games and stuff. We had a bust of Abraham Lincoln out front of the Beasley School of Law at Temple University on our right. We have directories on each corner. We're at Broad and Montgomery. So to my knowledge, Temple University houses 50,000 plus students annually. I don't know if those numbers changed since the last two or three years, a lot of schooling has been done from home. And we have a lot of historic campus buildings on our right. I'm gonna make this left coming up because we're gonna head towards the block where the incident happened. We're at Paulette Walk and Broad Street. Now on our left, there was a gym that I used to attend often. As a YSP, Young Scholar Program, 13 year old, 14 year old, I had an ID, a campus ID with full access to the entire campus. On our right hand side was our cafeteria. So I remember going in there and it was an all you can eat buffet. Every single day, the college students get an all you can eat buffet. Anything and everything you could think of from tacos, to chicken, to macaronis, to mashed potatoes, jello, ice cream, pudding, cereal. I mean, it was endless cookies. Like if you had a sweet tooth or if you know you indulged in food, <laughs> gluttony, that would be the place where it would happen at because it was all you can eat. And I used to take advantage of that when I was a kid. But um, where I'm getting at here is I had access to the campus. So over here on our left, there was a gym with a racquetball court and I play handball with my hand. Pretty much racquetball, but instead of using the racket, my hand. I'm really sharp with it, left hand, right hand. I'm ambidextrous. So I used to go to some of these buildings. Um, I dropped out of the program, I, I believe close to like 15 years old. I think I was 15, 16, I just stopped going to it. Um, I got demotivated. I explained that story to you guys before how originally I got accepted to the art, um, to Swenson Arts and Technology on Red Lion Boulevard, on Red Lion Road in the Boulevard in Northeast Philadelphia. But the person who interviewed me, <laughs> the same person who interviewed me, who was handling my case, said that the scholarship wouldn't qualify if I wasn't in a neighborhood school. So I, was, I had to go to Kensington or Edison. I ended up not going to Kensington. A lot of my friends from my block went to Kensington High School. I didn't go to Kensington. Go ahead, buddy, go, go, go. You, you sleeping, you like slept on that entire light. Like, we're, we gotta go. <laughs> These are frat houses and stuff on, all right? Um, but yeah, so I ended up not going. Long story short, I ended up not going to the program no more and I didn't utilize the scholarship. We just passed Carlisle. We're on 15th Street. Let's make this left hand turn. 2000 block of 15th Street on our right. We are next to the Hillel Center for Jewish Life, Edward H. Rawson building on our right. On our left hand side, we have a uh, Temple University, what used to be an outdoor track. So you can jog, walk, and take a stroll and all that if you wanted to work out. It used to be a nice little track. They ended up closing it up and they sealed it and they made a building on top of where the track was. There's a field on our right, I'm assuming, where students practice and whatnot. On our left, all those T's, those red flags, that T is for Temple University. Now, you guys could correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Mr. Bill Cosby attended Temple University also. I'm not sure if he was a professor here, if he taught any classes or if he held any lectures or something, but I believe he was a student here. You guys can correct me, I may be wrong. See this building on my right is brand new. This building on our left is the back of the Leah Court Center, I believe, which is like a venue, sports venue and whatnot. We're at Montgomery Ave. So in this area, there's usually a lot of, unfortunately, like shootings, robberies, and the students are targeted. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very sad happening. Once we crossed Broad Street, we're now in Cecil B. Moore. So this is the Cecil B. Moore neighborhood, which is also located in North Philadelphia. It's named after the late Philadelphia-based civil rights attorney and politician, Cecil B. Moore. The district is loosely arranged around the main campus of Temple University. The neighborhood has gentrified due to its influx of Temple students during the past several years. The controversial term Temple Town was coined by the former Temple president, Peter J. Leocorus. So I'm assuming that's what the Leocorus Center was named after too. We have a 7-Eleven on our right. 
this block right here, Cecil B. Moore, on our left and our right, there's several um, dozen businesses that span Cecil B. Moore. For example, City View Pizza on our left, Beach Radio Television Studios on our right, which I won't be surprised. It says rooted in the community 25 years. If they have a relationship with Temple University, the video production program. Okay, we're gonna continue traveling southbound. We're traveling southbound on 15th Street. We're now in the 1600 block of 15th Street. We have to travel to the 1300 block because that's where it happened at, it took place. So as far as the crime in this area, I know you guys are probably wondering like, what's the crime look like considering that it's a college campus area? All right, we're passing 15th and Oxford. We have a lot of new Temple Villas, a lot of new, some of them are privately owned locations. For example, luxury student rentals on our left, Owl Spaces, because Temple University's mascot is the Temple Owl. So they use that term. They coined them the Owl Spaces or so on. On our left, Temple, Temple Nest Apartments, fully furnished student housing and so on. Some of them are privately owned. Some of them are owned by Temple. Temple owns a lot of real estate space throughout North Philadelphia. Surprisingly, they own a lot of real estate space. But North Central Philadelphia, based on AreaVibes.com, receives an F rating when it comes to crime. See that young man on our left-hand side? Could have also been a student. He was traveling. He had some goods in his hand. We're on the 1400 block of 15th Street. So it's on the next block where these students were robbed. Before we talk about that, total crime in the area is 265, or I apologize, 263% above the national average. Violent crime is up 430 percent above the national average property crime is up 231 percent above the national average we're approaching master street let me see if i can take a yield here let's take a yield yep we caught the yellow beautiful because it happened on the next block north central crime rates are 263 percent higher than the national average right key findings show that in north central you have a one in 12 chance of becoming a victim of crime now what's incredible is i believe that's kind of close to the kensington neighborhood kensington is i believe a one in an 11 chance if i'm correct we have Max Food Market on the left-hand side. It is said that North Central Philadelphia is safer than 3% of the cities in Pennsylvania, which is horrible. <laughs> that is horrible. Shootings have happened in the area, such as, but not limited to, on May 8th, the Philadelphia Inquirer reports that five people were shot, including three women, in North Philadelphia near Temple University. So we're approaching the block that is said, uh, where the robbery had took place around 6 a.m. on the 1300 block of North 15th Street. The victims, a mix of men and women between the ages of 20 and 22 years old, were sleeping when the suspects broke into the home and robbed them. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, robbed about a dozen students. Guys, that's, that's a shame. That must have been traumatizing. That, that must have made them feel unsafe and uneasy. We're passing Sabert Street. Let's make this, uh, no, let's not make a right. Let's make this left-hand turn on Thompson. Yes, that is very, very, um, I'm sure it was disheartening to some of those students. I don't know if they're still attending class here. I don't know what the case was. To be honest, I just drove through that block. It didn't look like the block that was on the news. Let me make this left here, just cause, so y'all can see some, some small uh, blocks. Check this out, a bunch of graffiti on the left-hand side. You see it? Oh, a bunch of chicken scratch too. Some of it's like some clean graph, some of it's chicken scratch. They already spray painted on the electric box on our left. And some of these buildings are new on our left and on our right. And look at they're building more in these lots and those look at those condos or giant apartment buildings on my right on these little ducky blocks yeah that's a shame guys so you know could you imagine temple students woken up and forced into the basement and robbed of all their goods electronics laptops cell phones wallets money anything of value they were robbed for could you imagine being in your sleep and getting woken up with a gun in your face and then you know, uh, uh, you don't know what's gonna happen, you know? Especially if you're a teen, that, that could be like scary, you know? Cause not a lot of people, especially if you come from the country, if you come from the suburbs, if you come from a, from a nice little small town, then you come to here, Philadelphia, thinking you're gonna get an excellent education and be safe on college campus. But in this case, that was not what happened. And there have been many robbings here in the area where students have been robbed at gunpoint all up and down Broad Street, 15th Street, 13th Street, 11th Street, Cecil B. Moore, Susquehanna, Diamond, which is all around this area. The exact number of students, I believe, was 11 students. And they were robbed on an on off-campus 
housing. So it wasn't on campus. It was probably like a privately owned property they were renting. 